Uh, uh, before I get started here, there's a, a little guy named Sammy Day. He lives up in Portland. And uh, he came down for treatment many different times here, here to Houston. And uh, the little guy's a fighter. And uh, he's the biggest Houston fan, and I've seen him many times. And Sammy, this is for you, man. Go ahead. Coach, it's been a repeated theme for you throughout this series that you guys haven't played a good game. You've had a little quarter here, a half there. Today, did you finally get much more of what you wanted? Yeah. I mean, they had stretches where they did some things that you know got us off our game a little bit. But for the most part, we stayed in attack mode. I thought, you know, James was fantastic. You know, 31 points, big free, big free throws down the stretch. He got us going with some passes early. Trevor's shots were so timely and so huge, just big. And again, you know, Dwight, 16 and 15, just, uh, you know, so many people played well. Brew went out there. I mean, we did, Pablo had a hell of a game. And we just had a lot of guys play well. And that's, that's, that's what it takes. It takes a lot of guys playing well to beat a team. And, you know, it's, um, you know, I told our guys, you know, 3-1, it, it, it feels really, really, really bad, especially when they stomp on you <coughs> in games three and four. But, you know, it just, it was our, you know, our guys just, just kind of grounded out. And it was just a one game at a time. And, we, you know, we've had many three-game winning streaks throughout the year. And our guys just rallied together, and they just did a hell of a job. So that was a really good game for us on both sides of the ball. Um, that's a high-potent offense. And we were able to keep it, in, uh, keep it in check somewhat, you know. Coach, talk about the wild card offensively, Trevor Ariza, over the last three games. And again, today, shooting 50% from the three-point line. Uh, everybody knows what the other guys bring to the table, but when he looks to be aggressive offensively, especially early, it makes a difference. Yeah, they were really collapsing the paint. You know, James um, did, a, did a good job of kicking it out, and early he was finding a lot of guys. And, you know, that, it, it, you know we, we want to go downhill. As, as I said, I, uh, we want to get paint points, and we want to beat people on the boards, and um, you know, that's how we have to play basketball. So. We're going to have to do the same thing in the next series, but Trev's huge on that. If they, if they pack the paint, we've got to make shots and make them pay for that. Going back to that 3-1 lead and the 19-point deficit, to have the fortitude to have put together this game and come back away from that, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us we're capable of winning three games in a row. <laughs> I mean, you know, the guys fought hard. You know, the other guys in there um, just had a lot of fight. And, you know, we don't get to this if not for Trev, Brew, um, Josh, Dwight, and um, Jet, when, when they just, that fourth quarter they put on in game six was amazing. And that yeah, 40 to 15 run was just, you know, you, you don't see that very often. I, you know, I, I've been in the league a long time, and you don't see many of those. So, you know, we don't even get to today. And then James is able to come in today, you know, get 31 points. Trev keeps it up. Uh, and uh, Dwight did a great job on the boards again. And you know, it was just a great team. We had so many guys play well today. Brew, Pablo, and that, you know, that's the key. Jet, uh, everybody, everybody stepped on the floor and really contributed. The pace, the energy, the aggression in the first quarter. You didn't make every shot, but you played with some force in there. Yeah. And they never let the game. How critical was that in your mind? That was huge. I mean, we had to keep playing. We, I, I thought we, I thought we started the third quarter, and we got very. It felt, felt like we were three quarters speed again. Actually, it felt like we did the first two games in that series. It just, it just, and then all of a sudden. We talked about it. We, you know, we got on a little bit about going with force. We ran one of our our, our favorite sets, and, and James went down middle of middle and just hacked it on him. And that just seemed to get. We made a three, I think, right after that. And our energy level just picked way up. Coach, how do you how do you make sense of how differently this team plays from night to night, especially from the beginning of the series to end? It seems like completely different teams from game one to game seven in a lot of ways. Well, it was. Yeah, game one and game seven were two different teams. Completely, the game one team was really lethargic, walking around, and we didn't play with much, much pace and much force. And the game seven team you saw today plays with the way we played most of the year, with with force, with aggression, <coughs> getting to the line forty-one times, putting pressure on them, making them follow you. I mean, that's just. But that's how we have to play. I mean, you know, we're going to have a, we'll have our hands full next series, but we got to play the same way. We got to be who we are, and we just got to come out and do that. Coach, congrats on the, on the victory today. Thank you. Looking forward, Golden State, another tough opponent. You just touched a little bit on it. How difficult is this next series going to be in the conference? Well, I mean, they're a very good team. Um, we have got to play our style of basketball, though. I think, you know, again, I, I haven't really prepped at all for them. We, you know, we had our hands full of Clippers. Um, 
now we'll, you know, tonight I'll enjoy this one. Tomorrow we'll start prepping for them. And, you know, the bottom line is we got to play. We're not going to change how we play. We just got to play how we play, but play it harder. We got to play how we play, play it tougher. We got to play how we play, play it more aggressive. We got to play how we play and just take it to them every single possession on both sides of the ball. And you know what? I found out that normally is good enough. And if it's not, well, then you gave your best shot. You know, so I mean, I'm, I like, you know, I like where we're at. We're just going to go in there and fight. Coach, from a strategic point of view, you don't get a lot of the credit that you deserve. But starting with the game Tuesday night, deciding to go small with TJ. And again today, when it looked like the Clippers were going to make a run, start hacking Dwight, you went small again. And, and just going back and forth with that really eliminated that whole option for Doc. Just kind of talk about that. Well, that we transition. were up enough that, you know, I, part of me was like, um, uh, you know, Dwight's, I, I, I trust Dwight to make free throws, but the clock never runs. It's just going to be, they, they started fouling. I let them get to the penalty, then we, then we, then we, uh, then we substituted. But if you do that, that ends up, you know, we'd still be playing. And uh, so, you know, I, I wanted the clock to run with the lead, and so I just thought we could go small. I thought we could switch a couple things. Trevor's done a nice job on Griffin, on uh, Blake, so I, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't really overly concerned about, you know, that matchup and the fact that then I knew they had to guard us. And we got a lot of stuff off penetration kick, and you know we, we separated the game a little bit uh, with that small unit at times. And then you know, as as always, and I've you know again I've been in the league a long time. You know, you have a 14, 15 point lead, you start hoping the clock goes faster. We got a little conservative on offense, and we just got to keep. Then our guys, we kind of call the time always. It might just play, just play. Then we shot free throws down the stretch. But no, I, I just you know. There was really a part of me that wanted Dwight to shoot free throws. I, I thought he was, I thought he had a good rhythm shooting, but I just thought you know it just ends up, just time never comes off the clock when that goes on. So I thought I thought at that point with our lead, running the clock was our best, you know, our our, our best ally out there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys.